What is up guys, I'm Exotic Gaming, and today I am finally back with another Pixel Gun 3D video. So as we all know, the most recent update has not been released yet for iOS devices, so what I've decided to do for today's video is do another weapon review, this time on a relatively older weapon in this game. This is a weapon introduced into the special section around 6 or 7 months ago called the Alligator UP2. Now I've been getting tons and tons of requests from people ever since this weapon was introduced to do a weapon review on this weapon and here we finally are. So let's jump right into today's video. The Alligator UP2 is a pretty unique weapon in Pixel Gun 3D with very few weapons similar to it. Some of the weapons that are similar to it are the Portable Death Moon UP2 and the Balloon Cannon UP2. Now this weapon is a very average special weapon. It's not the most powerful special weapon in the world and it's not the weakest, but if you do manage to use this weapon correctly, it will turn out to be a pretty formidable special weapon. This weapon has a 23 lethality, 84 firing rate, 8 capacity, and 110 mobility. But the key thing here is at the bottom right, you see this weapon has a single shot ability, very similar to some of the other sniper rifles in this game. That means that this is one of those weapons where you have to have some level of accuracy when using it if you want to get decent gameplay. This is not a spray and pray type of weapon because every single shot counts. If you miss one shot, then you have a pretty good chance of getting killed by an enemy player. So you have to make each and every one of your shots count. But this weapon is better than some of the other weapons that are similar to it in terms for the fact that this weapon does have area damage and because of this, well, you don't have to directly hit the enemy player that you're trying to fire at. You can hit kind of near them, you can hit the wall that they're next to in a map like Silent School, and that will prove a kill for you. But, it still takes a decent amount of shots to take out an adamant armored player, so, like I always say, if you can manage to find a match where not every single enemy player has adamant armor, it will greatly increase your gameplay experience. Now, truthfully, this weapon is not going to get very many kills if you join a match and every single enemy player has adamant armor. But, if they have a wide variety of different armors like adamant, ruby, diamond, gold, etc, etc, some people may not even have any armor, then it will be a lot easier to get some pretty decent gameplay with this weapon. You can kill adamant armored players though, that is the key feature with this weapon. It's not one of those weapons where it's absolutely impossible to kill people with, but it still can do it, and that is the most important part. I do have to say this weapon looks absolutely awesome, in my personal opinion. It looks great. This weapon does have a very cool little blast when you fire out of the alligator's mouth. I don't know what you would exactly call the thing that you fire out of the alligator's mouth. I'm going to probably call it some plasma, because um, that's probably what it would be if you do shoot something out of a weapon. It's probably going to be plasma if it looks like that. So I'm going to say that this weapon shoots some plasma out of it, and it is pretty cool. I like the weapon, guys. It's not my most favorite special weapon for sure, but if I was basing this weapon off of solely if I was to like it or not, then, well, this wouldn't even be a review. It's, it would be nothing like a review, and it would just be influenced on my opinion. But since this is not, it's all based off of what the gameplay you would experience would get, and I would say that if I would rate this weapon from a 1 to 10 rating in terms of how it actually is priced, and how it performs at the highest level bracket that I am in, it's probably like a 6, I'd say. Given that the Portable Death Moon is probably something like an 8, this is more like a 6. You know, something like the Solar Ray Rifle would be like a 9 or a 9.5. This is probably something like a 6 because it still is pretty difficult to take some of these people out. But it still can be done! As you guys can see here, I'm not getting for sure the best gameplay in the world, but I am still getting kills and that's the important part. This is one of those weapons where it is very difficult to win matches with, but I have to say, it is pretty cool when you kill people with this thing. It looks cool, and sometimes you gotta kill people with style. Sometimes, fewer kills with style is better than a lot of kills with not so much style. Like, in all honesty, if I was to go with the alligator, I would feel more awesome getting 5 kills with the alligator in a 3 minute match, instead of, I'd say like, 12 kills with the prototype, because you feel a lot cooler when you kill somebody with this thing because, I mean, hey, it's pretty difficult to use and sometimes it's all luck based off of when you're firing at the enemy player. This weapon has a very slow firing rate. That is really the major downfall with this weapon. If this weapon had a faster firing rate, 
it would probably turn out to be one of the better weapons in this game, in all honesty, because if this weapon had a faster firing rate, with the damage that it has per single shot, it would be pretty powerful. Because this weapon has a very powerful single shot. You only need to have, I'd say, around five shots before you take out a fully adamant armored player. I'm not entirely sure what the exact number is, but you only need a couple of shots before you fully take out an adamant armored player, so it's a pretty decent weapon, guys. I like it. I definitely do like it. But, the question is, is this weapon worth it actually in terms of just getting this based solely off of the fact that you want really, really good gameplay? Now, my honest opinion is probably not. I would not recommend this weapon if you are solely basing this off of getting decent gameplay with it. Because, the truth is, the Portable Death Moon is a better option for you. The Portable Death Moon is much more powerful and it absolutely demolishes most enemy players that you come across. Even Adamant Armored players, this one is much more difficult to take out the Adamant Armored players as you guys can see. A lot of these people, it is very, very difficult to take them out. I got 7 kills in that 3 minute match, so... In all honesty, that is very, very average. 7 kills, 8 kills, that is pretty much your average amount of kills that you will get in a fully 3 minute match thing that you would get in something like Silent School. Now, you have to get that amount of kills if you are in Silent School. If you go into something like Paradise Resort, where it's a much more medium to longer range map, then you're probably going to get that reduced to like 3 kills or something like that in a 3 minute match because this weapon surely does not perform the best at medium range. It actually is, is pretty difficult at medium range. I tried doing a review of this a while ago in Paradise Resort, and I probably wasted at least two hours trying to get decent gameplay with it, and it did not work because this weapon, truthfully, does not perform very well in medium range. Long range, forget it. You try to use this weapon in D-Day, that will not work out very well. You might get one or two lucky kills in an entire team deathmatch match, but the overwhelming majority of the time that you encounter an Adamant Armored player, or any Armored player for that matter, they will have a much better suited medium and long range weapon, and with that, they will easily be able to take you out. So they'll have something like the Prototype, like I said before, or they'll have the Gorilla Rifle, or the Laser Crossbow, or something like that. Even some of the Assault Rifles that perform well, like the Assault Machine Gun, or the Marksman UP2. All of those weapons are going to perform a lot better than this weapon, in medium to long range. So don't use this. Don't even bother. If you get this weapon, stay in something like Silent School. Colosseum would probably be the best one, in all honesty. That's what I did my Portable Death Moon review on, I believe. I think that's what I did my Portable Death Moon review on. And I got great gameplay in Colosseum, because Colosseum is such a close range map that it does really, really well. And sometimes you can even get some of those Stormhammer users. It's not that likely, but sometimes you can be lucky enough to kill some of those Stormhammer players. And I gotta tell you, if you can manage to shoot a Stormhammer user with this thing, it is one of the best feelings in the world. Because, I mean, this thing is probably like one-eighth of the damage capable like that the Stormhammer would do. I would say the Stormhammer could easily do like six to eight times better than this one in a match. So if you can manage to kill somebody who has the Stormhammer, best feeling ever, it, it feels absolutely awesome. So, the Alligator UP2 really is one of those weapons where if you're looking for a fun thing to use once in a while, this is the thing to get. It's not a super competitive weapon. I would not use this thing in something like a, a 1v1 or something that's super competitive or or like if I was to do something like a like a really good weapon gameplay or something like that because this is just a fun weapon to use when you're not really into the super competitive gameplay and you're just looking to have some fun time with your friends, you know, not necessarily win a match, but get a couple of pretty cool kills and overall have a pretty decent time when using this. Because I don't really rage that much when using this weapon. I've actually probably never raged when using the alligator. It's one of those weapons where you can't really rage when you die when using it because I mean, you die so much when using this thing. You guys have seen how much I've died in this match. I mean, trying to go up against those people with the prototype, it's it's difficult. It, it proves to be very difficult to take them out. But, you can do it. And that's the important thing, guys. I would not recommend this weapon at all if you can't take out certain players. But, you can take out any player if you're lucky. Um, if you can have that level of skill, of accuracy, as you guys can see there, I completely failed in trying to hit that enemy player. Like, three out of those five shots that I fired completely missed the enemy player. This thing will not take out the Mines Launcher, the Noob Tube, the very annoying uh, premium weapon. It's not going to really take out the Mines Launcher too well, so 
If you do see somebody with the Mines Launcher, best bet is to just take out the Storm Hammer and take care of it that way because most of the other weapons are not really going to do too well in taking them out. So, yeah guys, the Alligator is a very unique weapon and I gotta say, I really like it. I love the design on this weapon. That might even be enough to just get this weapon for me personally. I love using the weapons that look cool. Like I, you guys saw what I did the uh, video, the, the most recent video I did was uh, cool weapon gameplay where I chose some of the coolest looking weapons in my personal opinion. And uh, I don't know if I was to do to, to do like a secondary cool weapon gameplay because obviously the coolest weapon for me in the special section is the shuriken thrower. Not the most powerful one in the special section, but in terms of the way it performs and the way it looks, for me personally, that one's the coolest looking weapon in the game. But this one probably is pretty close to the top in terms of the weapons in the special section. Not in terms of overall weapons, but for the special section, this is one of the cooler weapons in my personal opinion. So, I like it guys. I really, really like it. And uh, definitely one of those weapons that is for just some casual gameplay. So, yeah! I don't really have much else I need to say about the alligator. I know so many people have been wanting to see me review this thing for so long. I know a lot of people really like the alligator. I'm one of them, okay? I, <laughs> I don't really see how you could possibly hate this thing. I mean, there, I mean, I, I guess, I guess you could. I guess you could hate it. Never say that you can't hate something because obviously there's going to be those couple of people that hate it. I mean, hey, I hate the storm hammer, so there's obviously going to be a couple of people that hate the alligator, but I like it. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people do like it as well, even if it doesn't give you the best gameplay in the world. But if you guys would like to see me do more gameplay with this thing, I will surely think up of some more uh, random weapon gameplays to do it. I do have one random weapon gameplay where I did use this one, and that was animal weapon gameplay that I did back in November. You guys should definitely check that one out. I used the Pitbull as well. As you guys can see, that's the, the backup weapon that I have equipped uh, currently right now. So I have the backup, I have the Pitbull... Um, I, I just said the backup and the pit bull. The backup was the pit bull. I have the alligator. I had the predator because I didn't really have a good uh, primary weapon. I had the tiger and a couple of other ones that were all really animal related weapons. So, yeah. Laser minigun. Probably not going to really be able to take them out with the alligator. Just truthfully. It, I mean, hey, I took the guy out there, but it took two tries. So, not really going to take out too many storm hammer and laser minigun users. Truthfully, like I said before, you're going to get great gameplay if you go into the maps that you choose that best fit you. Um, like I said here, I mean, this is a map that's pretty much every single player has adamant armor. So, in all honesty, it's probably not the best map for this weapon. But, hey, I got decent gameplay. And plus, this does go to show you guys that um, you can kill people even if you are in a match where every single enemy player has adamant armor and much more powerful weapons than you have. Use the zigzag, guys. Use the zigzag. Because if the guy has the prototype and you're moving around like a complete idiot, well, it's going to be pretty difficult for them to take him out. So do the zigzag. That is how you can manage to take them out. And uh, yeah, you'll get some pretty successful gameplay when using this weapon. So always look out for those maps that have a wide variety of different armor levels. And you should do good, guys. So I really don't have much else I need to say about the Alligator UP2. I really hope you guys did enjoy this review on this awesome special weapon. If you guys did enjoy the review and the gameplay, be sure to go check out Alligator, or not Alligator, Animal Weapon Gameplay. Because Animal Weapon Gameplay, I got some pretty cool gameplay when using this weapon. And I don't currently have any other special or Alligator gameplay on YouTube. So this is one of the least commonly used weapons that I've done for for YouTube. But hopefully, I will change that relatively soon. I'll hopefully use that much sooner than uh, than I did between Animal Weapon Gameplay and this one. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Be sure to go check out my other series I do on Pixel Gun 3D if this is the first one you have watched on my channel. Be sure to go check out my Random Weapon Gameplays, which are my most popular series on my channel. My Color Weapon Gameplay series, which are very similar to the random ones, but I choose a specific color. And use some gameplay, do some gameplay with all of the weapons that are that color. I do a Deadly Games gameplay, which I've got to do another episode soon. Another 1v1, which I've got to do relatively soon. Um, and a couple of other ones. Be sure to go check out my other, more recent weapon reviews. I've done a review on the uh, Laser Disc Thrower UP1, which was a very good weapon review. I definitely recommend you guys checking that one out. I uh, did a review on the Alien Rifle, which was another very good weapon review. So, if you don't watch anything else... Watch the Alien Rifle review and the Laser Disc Thrower review, and you should be good. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and um, 
I don't know if I'm going to be able to take this guy out because he has a prototype. Okay, so we did. So we did. We got him out. And there's only 10 seconds remaining, so we might as well go to the end of this match. I don't think I'm going to get another kill. Or maybe we did. Hey, we did. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, And one second remaining. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode.